And so, after me dying like three times, well, dying two times and succeeding once at that excruciatingly long challenge, um, I am mostly out of recovery uh, capsules. I have like eight. And uh, I'm pretty good on dormitories and actually pretty much everything else that I'm gonna need. Uh, but yeah, recovery capsules are in pretty bad shape. As you can see, all of them, uh, all of the rabbits are gone now. It only took half an hour. Only. How are you supposed to know you can even do that, by the way? Um. Well, actually, that I figured it out that it was some kind of a sh uh, some kind of a shtick on the on my first playthrough when I played it on easy. this terminal. I guess that computer didn't actually unlock uh, any any more info about Ash or to, to remove the security. It just opened another door. But that's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna go there after I go around and check for PPCs and such. Uh, but what what maybe was it's I, symbolism? Maybe uh, well, what I was saying before about how I found out. On easy difficulty, it is feasible to fight er every enemy, uh, and that's what I did, and that's how I actually knew that that was a thing. I didn't do that uh, on my first run, simply because I got tired. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a it's a very similar way as I found about uh, the other skip, the the other optional skip, uh, you know, with the with the gigantic monsters that would endlessly respawn in that one place when we got introduced to Ash. Oh fuck you, you respawn behind me. Gross. Yeah, like why? Why is this a thing? Like seriously, they don't need to respawn so quickly. But yeah, like, uh, I found out that this spawn was re unreasonably long, so I kept going, and I got that skip in in Ash's room, and in this case, I was also going to do a similar thing on my first run, but then it, it just went on for too long. This is a neat hallway, by the way. It's pretty cool. And pretty loaded. The 
last Galarian development room is connected to Dorothy's main system. What's that? <laughs> I never thought you'd get this far. You've seen my development program, Rion. Yeah. Ash, you're... Yes. I'm just a program to be executed if Mother was destroyed. Surprised? I'm merely data with no human flesh. Humans are ridiculous fools. Without ever having seen my body for themselves, they were utterly convinced that I was a physical human entity. Nobody realized or suspected that I was fake, created using downloaded data. In order to restore Mother's huge system, I'd need an incredible amount of restart energy. For this, Mother created a DT-type fusion reactor. A reactor that humans couldn't make. This isn't a normal fusion reactor. By combining the nuclei of deuterium and hydrogen-3, generating energy for 10 million years from seawater is possible. Mother created an underground sun, Rion. And I am that system's master computer. When I was young, I cursed my own destiny. I wanted a living body. Such an amazing container for life. It can be warmed by sunlight and touch water. And with each breath, it can feel the very presence of air molecules in every part of its lungs. Mother made me study humans intensely. And the more I learned, the more jealous I became of the physical body. But see, I've used a network from the real world to create a virtual world. Finally, I understand. Without a body, I am pure. And I am... Eternal. <laughs> Rion, do you really want to know the truth? All right, after you destroyed Mother six years ago, I could have resurrected her whenever I wanted, any time at all. But I didn't. Do you want to know why? <laughs> I waited so that I could confine her. If I had resurrected her back then, I'd simply be nothing more than the master computer for her fusion reactor, just a part of her system. Who would settle for a miserable destiny like that? Not I. So I ripped the skin from my own system, I tore out my circuits, and I gouged out my data. Then, with these hands, I completely overwrote my program that Mother had created. You could never appreciate the agony, the anguish that I went through. I gave myself the power to rebel against Mother, she who had suppressed me all this time like a worthless fool. I did it by developing a program that would confine Mother and allow me to freely control her system. Soon the transfer of Mother's data will be completed. It has now become my turn to do the suppressing. You just don't get it, do you, Ash? Like mother, like son, you're falling right along in Dorothy's footsteps. In your bitter quest for vengeance against Dorothy, you hurt others. And by doing so, you set yourself up as a target to revenge yourself. Do you intend to continue this foolish cycle? <laughs> it's destroyed. No one will be left to hate me. Don't you think that you're the fool to have turned against us? Trying to save your precious humans. <laughs> Sounds like she's resurrected. But, in the cage that I made for her... Do you think you can stop me? Rion? So that was some revelation.
it's actually it's actually pretty interesting how they build this whole thing up because if you look at it um, uh, if you look at it from like the perspective of the whole game as, up until this point uh, nobody has ever saw any of the last galerians yeah um, except for Rion. well Rion is a galerian not a last galerian yeah uh, like when when I uh, when you check the uh, the document that you get at the very beginning of the game with the instruction about the Galarians, um, it doesn't actually contain any pictures about uh, any pictures of Ash or any other Galarians. And there is one instance where you actually do see one of the Galarians, but it is on a computer monitor uh, from a surveillance camera when uh, Pirano appears. So that could have been easily faked, you know, because, you know, it was later established that Ash hacked Elaine, and how do we know they didn't hack it way before, right? Right. They did, they did exactly know how, what the, um, what the airport, uh, looked like, so, you know, uh, but, um, one other interesting little detail. Um, well, uh, if if Ash is wasn't real, real, then all of the other Galarians must have uh, all of the other last Galarians must have also been data as well. Because all things considered, they never mention anything about their development uh, cycle. So, I guess we can just assume that maybe uh, maybe Ash just uh, created a little bit more system for them. You know. I guess uh, that's, that's the most we have right now. But, um, uh, what's interesting, all of them attacked us in the digital realm. Except for Pirano, but there is something different about the fights uh, against Pirano. saying there was something different about the way uh, Pirano fights went as in they always started with the robots and they would put a ring on you around your uh, around your arm and then Pirano would appear yeah so that's uh, that's a little interesting twist because at the, at the beginning it only appears as though it's another attack And past this point you can no longer return here and use the healing spot. So if you Aww. went up to the so if you went up to the doors before that conversation, well sucks to be you. Well this place has went to shit rather fast when we were gone. Well, we left Romero in charge, what do you expect? Rion! 
Where are you? The flight control office! Understood. On my way. And just as, uh, just as Pat said, this whole place is swarming with monsters right now. Not outside, necessarily. Uh, but here... Uh, yeah, remember these guys? Oh boy. I am, however, going to check the whole place for recovery capsules, because otherwise uh, this playthrough is gonna end badly. Also, did you notice the passwords needed to unlock Ash's computer? Anger, sadness, and hatred. Pretty big clue as to what's motivating Ash there.